God honored Islam with Umar ibn al-Khattab and Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib and Islam began to spread in the tribes. Umar knocked on the door of Abu Jahl to warn him. Hello. Hello and welcome to my nephew. What brings you? Umar said, I came to tell you that I believed in God and his messenger, Muhammad. Abu Jahl got angry and closed the door in the face of Umar ibn al-Khattab. And it was one of the greatest stories of repentance. The story of Mu'az bin Malik, when Mu'az bin Malik came to the Prophet. O oh, Messenger of God, purify me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Woe to you! Go back and ask God's forgiveness and repent to him. But he still comes to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and asks him, O oh, Messenger of God, Purify me. The Prophet said the same up to the fourth time. The Messenger said to him, Purify you from what? He said from fornication. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked if he was insane, was told that he was not insane. He said, Did he drink wine? So a man stood up and smelled him out. But he did not find a smell of wine from him. The Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Have you committed adultery? Yes. The messenger, peace be upon him, said, He has repented of repentance. If divided among a nation, will be greater than them. The anger of the Quraysh intensified after the number of Muslims increased, and they made their decision. We must besiege the Muslims. How? Oh, Abu Lahab, how? We write an agreement paper in which we pledge allegiance to Bani Hashim, and Bani Abdul Muttalib. We do not marry them, nor do we sell anything to them, nor do we buy anything. Let us hang the agreement paper inside the Kaaba. O oh, Baghid, write that we do not marry, pledge alliance, or sit with Banu Hashim and Banu Abdul Muttalib. and hang it inside the Kaaba. The Quraysh insisted on this unjust paper. وقال الذين كفروا إن هذا إلا إفك افتراه وأعانه عليه قوم آخرون فقد جاءوا ظلما وزورا وقالوا أساطير الأولين اكتتبها فهي تملى عليه بكرة وأصيلا And the Muslims went out to the refs of Mecca, surrounded by the people of Mecca. So there is no food or drink, but it is the patience in the face of affliction, enduring hunger, thirst, and humiliation, so that God may decree a matter that was to be done. Days and years pass, and tiredness and hunger took a place among the companions of Muhammad. But they are still patient. May God grant them relief. The disbelievers continue to deny Muhammad. So Ubay bin Khalaf went to the Prophet and told him, O oh Muhammad, you claim that God will reanimate this decayed bone? Then he crumbled it in his hand, and then blew it into the wind in a position recorded by history. The Messenger of God, peace be upon him, said to him, Yes, I say that God will also resurrect you and cast you in hellfire. So God revealed his saying, Who will revive these bones when they have rotted away? <laughs> قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة 
وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون As for the stories of the noble prophet, there was a poor man who did not work, so the man went to the messenger of God, peace be upon him. I want money, O messenger of God. The prophet, peace be upon him, asked him, Do you work? No. The prophet asked him, Do you have anything in your house? I have clothes, some of which we wear, and we put some on the ground so that we can sit on it, and we have a pot in which we drink from. So the messenger of God, peace be upon him, asked him to return at his home and bring the pot and clothes. What are you doing? The messenger of God commanded me to bring clothes and pot. Hearing and obeying to the messenger of God. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, took them and said to his companions, Who would buy this garment and who will buy this pot? I will buy them, O messenger of God, for a dirham. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Who is more than a dirham? I will buy them for two dirhams. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, agreed and took it for two dirhams and gave them to the poor man. What do I do with these two dirhams, O oh, Messenger of God? So the Prophet ordered him to buy food for his wife and children with the first dirham and to buy an axe for the second dirham. What should I do with this axe, O oh, Messenger of God? The messenger, peace be upon him, said to him, You go and gather firewood, then sell it in the market, and you do that every day. And I want to see you after fifteen days. The man did what the Prophet ordered him to do and returned after the end of the period. The man returned to the Messenger, may God bless him and grant him peace. And the Messenger said to him, What did you do in the past days? I went, O Messenger of God, and collected firewood, then sold it and earned ten dirhams. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to him, This is better than begging people. And the return of Episanias emigrants began to Mecca. When they arrived, thinking that its people had converted to Islam, and when they came near to Mecca, they were informed that what they were talking about, of the Islam, of the people of Mecca, was false. None of them entered except by the protection of someone, or hidden. We have been deceived, and the people of Mecca have not yet embraced Islam. We must enter Mecca by seeking protection from our relatives. I will enter by taking asylum from my uncle Abi Talib. O oh, Zuhair, are you satisfied that you eat food and drink while your family in the reefs are hungry? Woe to you, Hisham! What can I do while I am alone? I am with you. Let us break the agreement paper and save Muhammad and those who are with him. By God, I do not agree with Quraysh on this injustice at all. So let us go to the Mutim bin Adi to break the agreement paper.
O oh people of Mecca, should we eat food and wear clothes and Banu Hashim are suffering? So let us tear apart the agreement paper. You lied. I swear to God, O oh Zuhair, we will not breach the agreement. By God, you are the most liar. So we were not agreed to write it when you wrote it. Zama said it right. We are not satisfied with what injustice was written in it towards Muhammad and his companions. And God informed his messenger of the matter of the agreement paper and that he had sent the insect on it. So it ate all the estrangement and injustice in it, except for the remembrance of God Almighty. So Abu Talib went out to Quraysh telling them this. O oh, people of Quraysh, I tell you that Muhammad told me from his God that the agreement paper is now torn, in which was injustice and oppression. Let us go to see the agreement paper. Yes, let us go. If he is a liar, we will stand between you and him, and if he is truthful, you will turn away from our estrangement and our oppression. وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا And they entered Kaaba to be sure of what Muhammad said. Muhammad said the truth and Quraysh lied. Muhammad said the truth and Quraysh lied. And the Muslims came out of the rifts with the messenger of God, peace be upon him. And the infidels saw a great sign of the signs of prophecy, but they are still ignorant in their arrogance.